Okay, so um, we've nearly finished doing all our uh, wheat that's ready. We've got one variety which isn't quite ready yet. And so I came and looked at this spelt this morning, and um, it's a strange thing because it's sort of, you can see it's in its husk, and uh, the combine doesn't thrash it out of its husk, it's, it just leaves it like that, and so you get a tank full of this sort of very light um, husk with the grain inside it. But to really test it for moisture, uh, it's quite a tedious thing to be doing, but you have to pick the, the grains up like this. And uh, then when we've harvested it, um, the whole husk and grain goes down to uh, be de-hulled, and then it's fit to uh, go to the miller. So when I eventually uh, managed to rub out uh, some grains from the sample, it tested at about 14.5%. Uh, I'd noticed that some of the heads had just started to sort of brackle and so uh, we got the combine here just going around the headland and um, started harvesting the spelt. Uh, contracted to grow for um, uh, Sharpen Park and uh, so uh, if you go and buy a bag of Sharpen Park spelt flour it's uh, highly likely that some of it might have come from this field. It's a li little bit windy here out in the field I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear this but I just wanted to give you a brief look at the uh, crop itself. Uh, the crop um, comes up to just above my waist and so it's quite a tall crop and um, the reason why I like it is is because it's quite competitive so manages to smother out a lot of weeds um, and even though there has been a little, little bit of black grass in it uh, generally uh, it's pretty uh, weed free there's a bit of volunteer clover coming up in there uh, and one or two broadleaf weeds in the bottom but um, really they've just been kept small by the, the spelt itself so I plan to grow a little bit more um, this coming autumn, uh, but we'd just quite like to see how this um, field yields to determine how much we are actually going to grow. So we've just finished the spelt and, uh, and just got it in the shed. Actually we've got a little bit left over where we come to leave on two trailers. Uh, I don't know what it's yielded yet, but um, I think it's yielded quite well. And uh, so, uh, but we won't really know what it's yielded totally until uh, this then goes off for de-hulling, where, um, sorry about my shadow, but uh, the spelt gets taken out of these florets and, uh, and just the grain is extracted. And as I said before, it's going to go to uh, Sharpen Park. Um, so do go into your local supermarket and see if you can find some Sharpen Park spelt.